Hello church. Today we're thinking about our workplace. It's part of our mission series and we're talking about our influence in the workplace and how we can love and care for the people around us. So our scripture is 1 Corinthians 13 starting at verse 4. It's familiar to us, probably most of us, but it's powerful and it's practical. So love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. So as we're thinking about our workplaces, sometimes, you know, we face challenges, don't we? So today I want us to be thinking about praying for our workmates, be they colleagues, bosses, customers, patients, wherever you're working. Maybe you're a, a parent, full-time parent, and it's about your children or the people that you meet at the school gate. But literally our workplace is it's our mission field isn't it it's where we're called to share the love and grace and kindness of god with the people that we meet but as we know sometimes this can be difficult can't it because sometimes we face very frustrating circumstances we face difficult people we face negative atmospheres maybe unreasonable demands um, from our bosses or from customers and sometimes we can feel so stressed that actually Patience and love is not what's flowing out of us. Or sometimes because of difficulties in workplaces, we can be intimidated and we withdraw. And we think, oh, well, I'll just turn up and do a basic job and I'm looking for something else anyway. But actually, God says to do our work unto him, doesn't he? And where we are each day is our opportunity. So today we need to draw on the love of God for more courage, for more patience if there's intimidation or frustration to shake that off and actually ask for the love of God to be in our hearts. And one of the reasons I love this scripture is because it's actually really practical, isn't it? If you think about it, here's some practical tips on how we can love people around us. So, for example, it's frustrating and it's difficult at work. Well, love is patient and love is kind. We can say, Lord, give us patience. Help me to be kind. Help me to... Um, reach out and be kind to that person that is really frustrating me. But also, um, instead of self-promotion and boasting, we can actually go, no, let's lift others up. Let's encourage them. Let's give them opportunity. Let's do stuff that's going to lift people, even if it's as simple as a smile and gracious customer service. Or it may be somebody that is in your team that you can champion and, um, you know, again, give good feedback to, to them or to your boss, but actually being proactive about um, honouring. So it says that love always honours, it doesn't dishonour. Dishonour is things like gossip and negativity. Or if someone's bad mouth in the boss, boss, we don't join in. We say, Lord God, help me to honour, help me to just keep, keep stum. Sometimes we just have to keep quiet. Um, but to be positive in our speech and to be affirming, and so when this each day we need the love of God in our hearts to sustain us, don't we? And again, this passage says love always hopes and always perseveres. So however tough your work situation is, or even if you're facing redundancy or unemployment, God's hope, patience and love and perseverance is there for you. And God is with you. And as we pray now, I want to pray for our workmates and our colleagues and for your job situation, just reach out to God and ask him to fill you afresh with his love. So Lord Jesus, we do reach out to you this morning, today, wherever we are. We ask for a fresh filling of your Holy Spirit, of your love to be in our hearts, to overflowing, Lord. Give us compassion, give us grace, kindness, patience, Lord Jesus. You came to the world even when we were still sinners and we didn't know you, you came out of love. Lord Jesus, help us to have that same love and compassion without expectation of people being the same back to us necessarily. So help us to love the people around us. And Lord, I trust you. We trust you for provision of promotion, um, financially, jobs where people need jobs. Lord Jesus, give us grace to persevere in jobs where we might feel frustrated. Give us fresh vision, we pray, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. Amen. 
So have a great day, church. And remember, these three things remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Bye.